two years ago on September 7th, the architect of the island's journey towards independence, Sir John Compton, passed away. Last week, family and friends held a special church service in Sir John's native land of Canuan, St. Vincent, in observance of another occasion, the 70th anniversary since Sir John immigrated to St. Lucia. His daughter, Miku North MP, Janine Compton, says the family prefers to celebrate his life and times rather than his passing. Well, on the 1st of September, we did celebrate, and as people are aware, we went to Kanawan on the 29th of August and had a mass there for him. So for us, that was the bigger occasion. His death, obviously, is a, is a very sad thing, but the fact that he came to St. Lucia is even more momentous. The Miku North MP says she is open to suggestions on how the nation can pay homage to her father. She says despite his immense contribution to the development of the island, prestige and stature, Sir John shunned the spotlight, preferring life at his rustic Maho estate in Miku. The Miku North MP says any monument and tribute should reflect the simplicity and humility of her father's life. But she does have one possible tribute which she thinks could satisfy public expectations and the family's wishes. One of the things that I would really like to see done is something that he wanted done. Um, in May 2007, they were supposed to name the Causeway Road um, after Moses Matalon. This was the person who partnered with him to change the whole Rodney Bay scene and change tourism in St. Lucia forever. And to date, the road still has not been named. And, and Moses Matalon's wife now suffers with cancer. So I think that this, this is something that would mean a lot to Sir John. Sir John Compton's signature is imprinted on almost every major infrastructural innovation on the landscape of St. Lucia in the late 20th century. Health Minister and MP for Ancillary Canneries, Dr. Keith Mondesi, says Sir John's record and vision are unsurpassed in the annals of St. Lucian and Caribbean history. The example that he set is a good example, and you have to follow the, the blueprint, and the people in St. Lucia will be happy with the development that's going on in the near future. During the sitting of the Senate on Monday, a moment of silence was observed in memory of the late former Prime Minister. Prime Minister Stevenson King in the April budget also announced plans to build a monument in memory of Sir John Compton. His daughter has called for any such project to be funded through a public-private sector partnership.